Hey, buddy. You got a problem? You could say that. I used to be a butcher before this bitch got a bug up her ass and started snooping around. People used to come from miles away to buy from me. I had more awards than the wall space to hang them. Then, her little boy goes missing, and I'm suddenly on death row? Call it a hunch, but I'm guessing you killed him. I never killed him. I never killed any of them. I left that up to my pigs. Ah! So you're just gonna haunt her for the rest of her life? Then what? Simple. I'm gonna ask her how her son tasted. Funny thing about pigs, you'd be surprised at how much their diet can affect their flavor. Oh! There's a special place out there reserved for monsters just like you. That's awful! Jeez! She brought this on herself. <laughs> well, good luck on your journey, I suppose. Not everybody is good hearted. Now, what's going on here? Oh, look, a little flask! I want the little flask! It's a ghost flask! It's incredibly important to stuff, apparently. Hello, Fever Memorial. Many brave workers from Salem who made the P Panama Canal possible, changing world commerce, died in this facility from the dreaded yellow fever. Oh... Boy. This sounds like a great place to be! Yellow fever! <gasps> Hundreds of people dead. Howdy. What is this? Trotter's findings. Uh... What's going on? Whose hand is that? Ah, yes. That was just a sacrifice in the name of science. A flesh sacrifice? Sounds more like voodoo than science. Some may call it that, but they forget the true purpose of science. To understand the world around us and all the forces that govern it. Just because the research may be unsavory at times, doesn't mean we should turn a blind eye. Besides, now I've got plenty of specimens to work with. Except you're dead! You experimented on these people? Most of them are as good as dead anyway. I save the ones I can. The rest... are being put to good use. Those were people, not guinea pigs. You're right. Now, if you don't mind, I'm quite busy. <laughs> this guy has, like, zero fucks to give about the morality about this all. Uh, well, he's dead, so I guess it doesn't matter now. Leave me be. This is weird. So Triangle, like, finds out the bad things about folks if they were evil. And X just kind of leaves you with an ambiguous kind of thing? I don't know, that's what I've... I'm figuring, even though I've only talked to, like, one guy. So, is there anybody else? Hi! You don't look like you're from those time periods. Why were all those people sick? I... I, I think it's yellow fever. I, I overheard the nurses talking about it. S something about the, the people working on the Panama Canal. <coughs> they must have brought it back with them. Please, I can't die here. They'll use me for his experiments. <coughs> what do you mean? This was a hospital. They were trying to help you. Can't you see? <coughs> this was a quarantine. No help is coming. Only death. <coughs> uh... She's wearing relatively modern clothes... ...for... ...an old-ass hospital quarantine thing. It just throws me off, because I can believe this guy's clothing, I just can't believe hers. Anyways, moving on. How many people are down here? There's one guy over there. Maybe a couple of them. I want to talk to them. But there's no way for me to enter that area, because it's all ghost walls. Darn. Although it seems like these guys don't know that they're dead. None of them do. 
Which is awkward, because you'd figure you'd notice hundreds of years of just sitting in the same spot every day. And now, ah, oh God! Look, I'm on your side. I just want to ask you a few questions. Okay. Why can every friggin' ghost teleport but me? I'm gonna have to figure this shit out. <laughs> Teleportation. Whoa! I just get it like that? Holding L1 displays a destination marker. You can move the marker with the right analog stick. Releasing L1. Okay. Can I just go anywhere I want? Oh, fuck yes! Dude, are you kidding me? I can just do it any kind of way as long as I have visibility. And all I needed to do was just be really angry that I didn't know the ability myself. It's just like, what? Everyone can teleport? Fuck it, I wanna do that. Poof, I can suddenly do it. Can I go in through this door? Oh my fucking god! Ha <laughs> ha! This opens up an entire world of possibilities. Well, first of all, we're gonna go question people. Howdy! Oh. Oh. Help! This one is getting delirious again. I'm afraid he's gonna have another seizure. Just comfort him as best you can. <coughs> His internal organs are failing. He doesn't have long now. <coughs> is that all I, I can do? Talk right now. Can't you see this man is in pain? Please. Oh. None of us are very long. Oh, you have a long time to suffer. God, that would suck if you die- or like, if you were dying to something awful and when you were a ghost, you still had that all the awful symptoms. New Rose's tattoo. Something I wasn't expecting. A new tattoo on Ronan. It's nice that this one isn't about crime or some violence. It's about me, in fact. Us, really. Two intertwined roses right over his heart. I guess he's in this relationship for good. Kinda crazy he put it over the tattoo about his parents. Whoa. I'm sure he doesn't mind, you know. Let's check out the other place. To the triage. Just a bitch to try to get through these things. Although I imagine that we're probably supposed to get up here anyways, through a normal way. Let, let, let's go upstairs. See? Sophia! I have your abilities now! Or at least I have similar abilities to you. I assume they're kind of common. Or it's a common thing. Every ghost can do it. Because I certainly don't have anything... ...that could be related to real life. Uh... Gramophone? We have some random ass things. We have books, gramophones, medical journals. Okay. Maybe we have to solve a mystery here. Eventually. And I already have the clues in advance. Fever remedies. <laughs> Obviously very bad ones at that. Oh, there she is. Okay. I like that. You just have a big exit sign. And I think that's about everything here, actually. But can I go up top? Oh, oh. Holy shit, this opens up so many possibilities of fucking investigations. I don't know how to feel about that, but I like teleporting, so that's cool. Oh, look. There's even something up here! New Justice Tattoo. Another tattoo on his back. Another woman, but fortunately only an abstract one. Lady Justice, with the scales, but without the blindfold. I asked him what it meant, and for the first time he said he didn't want to talk about it. I can only guess that he had some traumatic Justice Isn't Blind moment. Maybe he'll open up, he'll open up later. Ah. I get it. Okay. Well, let's go through here and see if we can talk to her now. Just hold on, will ya? Or not. Although it seems like whatever afflicted her as a person that ended up killing her is preventing her from talking, period. Can I teleport up there? Well, that's convenient. Well, I also want to investigate the area real quick. Oh, what the fuck? That was weird. Wasn't letting me teleport around. For a second there, I was going to be like, Oh, I can't teleport when I'm on top of ghost things. What the fuck? You deserve this? You must have been a real scumbag. 
Actually, I was a war hero once. At least that's what I told people. I'm guessing there's more to the story. Let's just say I embellished on a few bloody stories I overheard in the barracks and made them my own. The next thing I know, people are calling me a hero. How'd you wind up here? I tried to kill the man who threatened to expose me. I knew he was a lush, so I bought a flask and filled it with booze and rat poison. I don't know how, but he found out. The flask was supposed to be a gift. But before I could give it to him, he broke into my place with a few friends and beat me within an inch of my life. I'm guessing this is the last inch. I just wish I could have actually saved some lives. It felt good to be called a hero. Yeah, well, hey, at least they prevented you from killing anyone. That damn flask has brought nothing but trouble. I... ...know where a flask is. I want to go see if I can do anything about this flask. I want to bring it back to him and just be like, hey, found this. Aww. I found a flask and I can't do anything about it. Maybe it's not a flask. Maybe it's like a... ...a medicine container or something. That makes me sad. I couldn't find your flask. Various curios. Yeah, okay, see, it was a bunch of medicine. Okay, yep, couldn't find his flask, which makes me sad because it would be cool to check it out, but oh well. What other kind of abilities I'll be unlocking in the future? Or if this will be generally it. I'm happy with what I've got. Being able to teleport? Shoot, I don't even need the staircases. But again, I don't like the... the prospect of having to hunt down things like this. <laughs> it's like, oh, gotta teleport out of a building now. But you do with what you've got. What are these guys doing? This is Travis the Ghost Trapper, and we are in Salem, Massachusetts. Now because of the scary history of this town, it's a hotbed for ghosts. Are some of the tortured souls, the screaming phantasms from this town's past, still haunting this graveyard? Screaming phantasms? Travis, don't you think that's a little over the top? Okay, cut. Dwayne, how many times have I told you, don't correct me on camera? But you can't say that on the show, man. People will laugh. Oh, hell. People come to the show for over the top. Okay, sorry. Just start again. <laughs> All right, roll it. Traps the trap. Darn, there's nothing even in here. History to this place. There's likely to be a great deal of paranormal activity here. What? What was that? Definitely a paranormal event. I heard it too. There's some being. Some spirit. Hello? Are you trying to communicate with us? No, I'm Wait. actually just trying to fuck with it's you. It's over there now. <laughs> He's just having fun screwing at them. It would help if you knew what you were talking about. Who actually watches this show? Plenty of people watch ghost shows. I've watched a few episodes of ghost shows, not because I believe in ghosts, but because it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> That shit gets over the top, like, oh, what was that? Hello, what was your name? And then they have some bullshit, it's like, oh, Dave! What happened to you, Dave? Oh, the wood fell over! Oh, we gotta leave! Oh, he's got the moonlight behind me. There is no moonlight. There is some dimensional rifting textures going up there, but no moonlight. That's how more tough on this day. Yeah, because people want you to sound tough when you're supposed to be, like, shitting your pants. Is there anything else in here? Ah, oh, hello! Field trip gone wrong? What happened? Field trip gone wrong? No, no, no! Why'd you let the door shut behind you? What are you talking about? Mm. The door only opens from the outside. Now you're locked in here, too! If I miss my classes or get caught trespassing, I could lose my scholarship. They need to let me out. You mean that this isn't even yours? Of course not. It's starting to creep me out to tell the truth. This was just Kappa Delta Phi's idea of fun. 
I'm all for the tradition of hazing, but this has gone too far. Just try the door again, only this time really put your shoulder into it. Trust me, when you get out, your glasses will be the last thing you're thinking about. <laughs> well, at least he actually kind of helped him out with that. Whatever, old man. I'll figure it out myself. God, does that mean he died in here? That's morbid. They put him inside and just left him. But, honestly, yeah, maybe you should have tried doing something with the door. Sure, it only opens from the outside, but it's old. And you are not. You could kick it. Work on it a little bit. Now, what is this? This is nowhere near over. So many deaths, but likely many more yet to come. I can't help but believe this graveyard will only get more full. Isn't that an inevitability, though? Joy's mother is afraid that the bell killer will strike many more times before he's caught. Yeah, but... <laughs> it's redundant to say that the graveyard's gonna be filled with more people. Uh, it's inevitable. But I get what she's saying, we gotta stop the bell killer. Okay, you guys gotta stop that. Because I can teleport up to you now. Boo! Damn. And what the hell are these? I hope they never become prevalent. Like, I hope I never have to go, Alright, gotta look around for the gears and press R3 on them! Cause then I'll be mad. Cause I don't wanna go hunting for that kind of shit. Okay, guess we gotta teleport through a little hole. Oh shit! Shit, there's so many of them too. That's alright, whatever! Go for the bird! Or don't, whatever. Come on! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. No! No! Teleport, motherfucker! Oh. Ah. Holy shit, okay. That was terrifying. Uh, I didn't expect his friend to turn around and come after me like that. You know? Oh, thank God. I tried to teleport away, man. It just didn't work out to my advantage. It's still not working out to my advantage. Jesus. I'm trying to, like, teleport over there and just, like, kill him. Like this. Boom, easy. Man, all the risk of like having to run up behind them is gone too. It's just like, oh no, there's a guy there. Poof, kill. Poof, kill. I guess the only real way they can make it difficult now is by throwing shitloads of them at me. And placing them next to each other to really screw me over. Which, you know, that's not bad either. Strength in numbers and whatnot. Oh, what are you guys doing up here? Sure is cold out here. Yeah, probably should have brought our warmer jackets. So... You think the witches can win the division this year? How can witches? Oh, you mean our football team. Yeah, I think we stand a pretty good chance. You spend a lot of nights at practice. Must be nice to just have some nights to hang out. Yeah, it's nice. Sure is cold out here. Your jacket looks really warm. Yeah. <laughs> you clueless motherfucker! <laughs> oh, jeez. What's a girl gotta do to get a little affection? You can just say it straight up. Jeez. I'm practically throwing myself at him. Well, you could... You could do more than just practically. But I do understand your point. He's kind of a little bit... Uh, lost. Oh, nice that she's so interested in football. And she just wants to talk. God, I wish there was a third one. He could just go, Ugh. Oh, I can't talk about these kinds of things with my boyfriend. And I'd just be like, Yeah, there you go. Uh, William Pinchon? Pinchon. 1723 to 1789. The foremost chronicler of common daily life in this uncommon town. Okay. What's going on inside this building? 
Nothing. I don't appreciate when it shows me that I can go through something and then there's nothing even inside for it to be worth going into it. It's like, oh, you can walk through that wall! And I'm like, oh, is there someone in there? Is there something uh, collectible? No. We just wanted to let you know! Ooh. Two of these things right next to each other. Interesting. I wonder if this is going to end up making me go all the way back down to the river. I can see that coming. I land on the other side of the river that we saw at first and then teleport across it. 